Well, Lou, these families are filled with so many emotions from anger to anguish. They say all they have now are memories and they want to ensure that their loved ones are never forgotten. My granddaughter was in here. And she was a innocent little girl. An honor roll student and a budding football star. They're not just faces and photos, but children who embraced life and loved their families. Young victims of the Texas school massacre who've left behind loved ones in mourning. Their worlds shattered by the senseless shooting that's left so many unanswered questions. We wanted to take her life. This Uvalde law enforcement official who spoke to CNN is a father of 10-year-old Lexi Rubio. This is enough. This is enough. No one else needs to go through this. Another victim who died in the shooting, 10-year-old Jacqueline Cazares. Her dad, Javier, said the focus now is laying his little girl to rest. Full life, full uh, little firecracker. She was, she was just mm -hmm. all out. Uh, all that old girl, I mean, awesome. I mean, she loved to do music. Community members and grieving families honor those who were injured and who lost their lives in this attack. Among those in attendance for the prayer vigil, Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Many wiping away the tears as the leaders of the service read Bible verses and said prayers. Prayers for those who went to school on Tuesday and never made it home. Amory Jo Garza just celebrated her 10th birthday a few weeks ago. Her long-awaited gift, a cell phone that her dad said she tried to use to call 911 before being shot to death. He told CNN he learned about his daughter's death from her best friend, who was covered in blood outside the school. But it wasn't the friend's blood but his daughters. What do you want people to know about her? <laughs> that she was just trying to do the right thing. Look closely at all their faces, their smiles, their future stripped from them so suddenly. Also the teachers who fought bravely to protect them. The Uvalde community said they'll never be forgotten. The babies, the kids, don't forget them, please. Do something about it, I beg you. This community has endured so much loss, but there are stories emerging of those who survived the shooting. One of the 17 victims injured who was shot five times is out of surgery this afternoon. She's expected to recover. That's the very latest in the newsroom. I'm Kareen Winterloo and Glenn will send it back to you in the studio.